Premiering on July 12, 1980, Denji Sentai Denjiman, the movie, was one of the highlights of the Toei Manga Matsuri Summer Film Festival. It played alongside a re-release of Disney's Snow White, Magical Girl, Lala Bell, The Sea Calls for a Summer Vacation, and Kitaro, The Divining Eye, a theatrical cut of episode 37 of the 1971 TV series. Denjiman the Movie is an original theatrical production based on the 1980-81 Super Sentai series of the same name. The film takes place sometime after episode 8 and introduces Denji Princess, a survivor of Denji Star who visited Earth 3,000 years ago. The movie opens with a giant sea monster attacking and swallowing two different people. This is followed by the kidnapping of a woman by the Bader clan. This is all part of a plot by the Bader clan to find descendants of the Dengians, who possess the Rainbow Stone and can command a ship they found at the bottom of the Sargasso Sea. This is the ship that Princess Denji and her people used to escape the destruction of planet Denji 3000 years ago. If the Bader clan gets their hands on the Rainbow Stone, they will have enough power to destroy the Denjiman. It will be up to the Denjiman team to put a stop to their plans and protect the descendants of the Denjians. This movie is essentially a higher budget Denjiman episode, with some great cinematic set pieces that take the usual Denjiman action up a notch. Like many of the Super Sentai summer movies, this one plays into the series continuity by introducing us to Princess Denji and expanding on the lore of the Denjians. Through it, we learn about another group of survivors who came to Earth 3,000 years ago and stayed on the planet, living among its people and becoming part of its history. Princess Denji, for her part, left her people behind so that she could continue to fend off the Bader and keep them away from Earth. Through her story and the Rainbow Stone, the threads are connected in such a way that the Denji men realize that they are descendants of the Denjians too. She will go on to be referenced again in episodes 26, 29, and 45. So like other movie-only characters, she becomes entrenched in the history of Denjiman. Production-wise, this movie, like the Sun Vulcan movie I previously reviewed, is packed with great action scenes, unique battle stages, and of course, an amazing battle planning meeting. If you enjoy the style of the early 80s Super Sentai shows, this movie is a must watch and a great way to spend 45 minutes. Yeah! <laughs> 